Status check to proceed with terminal count. Atlas systems. Propulsion. Go. Hydraulics. Go. Pneumatics. Go. LO2. Go. Water. Go. Centaur systems. Propulsion. Go. Pneumatics. Go. LO2. Go. LH2. Go. Has gas. Go. Electrical systems. Airborne. Go. Ground. Go. Facility. Go. RFFTS. Go. Flight control. Go. Instrumentation. Go. Com. Go. GCQ. Go. Umbilicals. Go. ECS. Go. Redline monitor. Go. Quality. Go. OSM. Go. ULA safety officer. Go. Range, weather, and clear to proceed. Go. LC, this is the LD on channel one. LC, you have permission to launch. Roger. Proceeding with the count. NLM, this is SMD is on MLM. On power. Go ahead, SMD. SMD would like to report that the spacecraft is on internal power and it's configured for launch for a T0 of 15 colon 02 colon 00. Copy, SMD. MSL is configured for launch. While I have your attention, I want to wish the entire team that supported MSL good luck and Godspeed. It's been a long, challenging journey getting here, and we're proud to start you on the way to Mars shortly. NLM out. Thank you very much, NLM. We really appreciate the thought. 1458 Zulu. This is Atlas Launch Control, 90 seconds before coming out of this planned built-in hole at T-minus 4 minutes. Once we lift off, we'll be hearing our telemetry manager, Rob Gannon, from United Launch Alliance, calling the flight events as the vehicle heads downrange. At T-minus 4 minutes and holding, with a minute and a quarter remaining in this planned built-in hole, this is Atlas Launch Control. This is Atlas Launch Control, 10 seconds remaining in this planned built-in hold, which will take us the last four minutes of the countdown, coming out in 2, 1, T-minus 4 minutes and counting. 3.55. Ground power is enabled. Three minutes. Securing Atlas stopping. Atlas tanks to flight pressure. 250. FTS internal.
159. Vehicle power internal. 155. On sequence of start. 150. Securing Centaur LH2. Securing Centaur LH2. 140. Launch enable. FTS armed. One twenty. Work is armed. FCS count started. Produce ECS for launch. Roger. One ten. That valve's locked. T minus one minute and count. Report range status. Range status green. T-minus 30 seconds and counting. 28. ECS reduced for launch. 25. Roger. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. T-minus 15 seconds. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Main engine start, zero, and liftoff of the Atlas V with curiosity. Seeking clues to the planetary puzzle about life on Mars. The program is in right on time. 180 operating percent plus, as expected. And throttling down to 76 percent. Program complete. And MSL is now breaking the sound barrier. There be chamber pressures following the nominal curve. Everything will be And we pass through max Q. We're on closed loop on Atlas PU. Signatures as expected. SRB profile continues to look nominal, throttling back up to 100% thrust on the RD-180. Engine parameters looking good. Flight control disturbances look as expected. SRB pressures running right as expected. Coming up on SRB burnout, we have burnout of the SRBs. Everything is looking good. 10 seconds to SRB jet. And we have first pair and second pair, both sets of SRBs have successfully jettisoned the vehicle. We have re-enabled guidance. Everything is looking good. This is Rob Gannon, our United Launch Alliance telemetry manager we're hearing. Vehicle is now 32 nautical miles in altitude, 54 miles downrange, traveling at 4,900 miles per hour. And we've throttled down to hold a constant 2.5G level for payload fairing jettison. Fired the pyro valve, pressurizing the RCS bottle.
Pressure increasing in the loop as expected. 